Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Unit 13. Unit 13. That's entertainment. In this unit, we're going to discuss popular entertainment and discuss movies and famous Hollywood names. In part 1 snapshot, we have a couple of movie trivia. اطلاعات غیر مهم رو میگم که اهمیت خاصی نداره. The first one is about Black Mass. This is a movie. The name of the movie is Black Mass. Sienna Miller, an actress, spent months rehearsing and filming. But in the end, the director decided to cut out all her scenes for narrative reasons. میگه که سینا میلر ماها برای فیلم خودش رو آماده کرد ریهرس یعنی از قبل تمرین کردن ولی آخرش کارگردان تصمیم گرفت که تمام سکانسای اون رو از فیلم حذف کنه به دلایل روایتی و یا داستانی نراتیو یعنی داستانی Avatar 2009 The special effects were so expensive that director James Cameron had to wait 10 years to make the movie. Django Unchained, 2012 In the movie, Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to slam a table. Slam yani kubidan. Leonardo DiCaprio bayad ruye miz mikubid. But accidentally slammed a glass and cut his hand. ولی به صورت تصادفی یک لیوان رو میشکونه و دستش رو میبره. The scene was so good that the director decided to incorporate it. Incorporate یعنی به کار بردن. میگه اون سکانس انقدر خوب بود که کارگردان تصمیم گرفت که از اون استفاده کنه. The Princess and the Frog 2009 after watching the movie, about 50 children got sick with salmonella from kissing frogs. بعد از دیدن فیلم 50 تا بچه بیماری سالمونلا گرفتن به خاطر اینکه قورباغا رو می‌بوسیدن. Furious 7 2015. Actor Paul Walker died while still shooting the movie. The director used computer technology and stunts to finish the remaining scenes. The director used computer technology and stunts. Stunt means badalkari. به خاطر اینکه پال واکر در جریان فیلم می میره، کارگردان با استفاده از تکنولوژی کامپیوتری و بدلکاری بقیه سکانس ها رو تموم می کنه. And the last one. Paranormal Activity, 2007 This movie only cost $15,000 to make, but it made $9.1 million in its first week. In film, فقط $15,000 دلار خرج داشت ولی در هفته اولش 9 ممیز 1 میلیون دلار سود کسب میکنه. So there we have it, six movie trivia. And the question here asks you, which of the movie trivia do you find the most interesting? Next question asks you, do you know any other movie trivia? And the last question is, which of these movies have you seen? There are six movies here, Black Mass, Avatar, Django Unchained, The Princess and the Frog, Furious 7, Paranormal Activity. Which of these movies have you seen? Did you enjoy it? Which would you like to watch? If you've not seen any of these movies, which of them would you like to watch? Part 2. Conversation I think they're boring. Boring means tiring, something that is not interesting. There's a conversation between Danny and Gina. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Hmm, maybe. What do you want to see? 
how about an X-Men movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. میگه که شنیدم فیلم های اولیه یعنی فیلم های اولش خیلی جالبه. For you maybe I'm not interested in action movies. میگه شاید برای تو جذاب باشن. I'm not interested in action movie یعنی علاقه به فیلم های اکشن ندارم. به این I'm not interested توجه کنید که گرام بره این یونیته. Actually I think they're boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books. خیلی مشتاق کتاباش هستم. دوست دارم کتاباش رو. I'm always fascinated by his books. این جمله رو توجه کنید و جمله قبلی I'm not interested in action movies. I'm always fascinated by his books یعنی خیلی کتاباش رو دوست دارم Well, what do you want to see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ماراتون در واقع اینجا اشاره میکنه به نگاه کردن یک سریال از اول تا آخرش یعنی چطوره که بریم ماراتون سریال Game of Thrones Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn And now in part three, we have the grammar focus, participles as adjectives. ما اینجا دو نوع حالت صفات رو یاد میگیریم. Present participle که حالت ing هستن، همشون ing دارن. Interesting, fascinating, boring و خیلی از adjective های دیگه. مثل amazing, tiring, disgusting. همین صفات به صورت پس پارتیسیپل میان که با ایدی تموم میشن. همین ادجکتیو انترستینگ میشه انترستد. فاسینیتینگ، فاسینیتد. بورینگ، بورد. اما حالت استفادهشون چجوریه؟ به جمله اول توجه کنید. That X-Men movie sounds interesting. اون فیلم X-Men خیلی جالب به نظر میاد. Interesting. I'm not interested in action movies. همون فعل interest به صورت ing به کار بیاد یعنی صفات اون چیز و یا اون نفر رو میگیم. به فرض کلمه interesting یعنی جالب. شما میتونید یک چیز رو با کلمه interesting وصف کنید. An interesting movie. An interesting person. An interesting city. An interesting country. An interesting food. تمام اینها اون چیزها رو وصف می کنن. غذای جالب، فیلم جالب، شهر جالب. اما اگر بیایم همون interesting رو به صورت پس participle به کار ببریم بگیم I'm not interested in action movies یعنی این که به فیلم های اکشن علاقه ای ندارم. به دومین جمله دقت کنید. Stephen King's books are fascinating. کتابای Stephen King's خارقلادن جذاب هستن. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. یعنی من مجزوب کتابای Stephen King هم. I think action movies are boring. به نظر من فیلم های اکشن خسته کننده و یا کسل کننده هستن. Boring. I'm bored by action movies. این حت میزنید که ترجمهش چیه؟ یعنی فیلم های اکشن من رو کسل میکنن. ما نمیایم حالت پسیوی رو معنا کنیم بگیم که من توسط فیلم های اکشن کسل میشم. خیلی سلیس تو فارسی میگیم که فیلم های اکشن من رو کسل میکنن. هسته میکنن. پس به اینجا دقت کنید. ما دو نوع اجکتیف و یا صفت داریم. صفاتی که با ing ختم میشن مثل interesting fascinating boring به معنای جالب خارقلاده و یا جذاب boring خسته کننده و یا کسل کننده وقتی یک صفت با ing تموم میشه ما صفت اون چیز و یا اون نفر و یا هر چیزی که داریم در موردش صحبت میکنیم رو میگیم 
کلمه بورینگ رو میتونید استفاده کنید تا هر چیزی رو وصف کنید بورینگ بوک بورینگ پرسن بورینگ کلاس بورینگ مووی بورینگ سیتی تمام اینا میشن کسل کننده خسته کننده پس حالت ING موقعی استفاده میشه که اون چیز و یا اون نفر و یا هر چیزی که هست اون حس رو به ما میده ولی حالت ED یا پس پارتیسپل رو وقتی استفاده می کنیم اون حسیه که ما نسبت به یک چیزی داریم میگم که This city is boring این شهر کسل کننده است یعنی که من دارم شهر رو وصف می کنم بورینگ صفت این شهره همین بورینگ رو میان به صورت پس پارتیسیبل استفاده می کنم I'm bored with the city یعنی اینکه این شهر من رو کسل می کنه پس حالت ایدی دار اون حسیه که ما نسبت به یه چیزی داریم حسی داریم با حالت توبی استفاده می کنیم I am interested He is interested She is interested بیایم از همین کلمه interested استفاده کنیم I am interested in football یعنی به فوتبال علاقه دارم My sister is interested in books خواهرم به کتاب علاقه داره My father is not interested in video games پدر من علاقه ای به بازی های کامپیوتری نداره بیایم یه کلمه ای که توی کتاب نیست رو مثال بزنیم کلمه terrify یعنی ترساندن وحشت دادن و یا وحشت زده کردن این فعل رو میخوایم به دو صورت ing و ed استفاده کنیم به صورت present participle میشه terrifying ing به صورت past participle میشه terrified یک بار دیگه تکرار میکنم توجه کنید وقتی صفت به صورت present participle و یا ing دار استفاده میشه اون حسیه که یک چیز و یا یک کس به ما میده منظورم از یک چیز چیه؟ هر چیزی کتاب فیلم، شهر، کشور و یا هر کسی، پدر، مادر، دوست، رئیس این رو میتونید به هر چیزی اضافه کنید به فرض بگید که terrifying movie terrifying person یعنی چی؟ یعنی فیلم وحشتناک ترساور شخص وحشتناک و یا ترساور پس اون حسیه که یک چیز به ما میده یعنی اینکه این فیلم به من حس وحشت میده ترس میده این نفر حس وحشت به من میده همین رو بخوایم به صورت پست پارتیسپل استفاده کنیم ایدی میذاریم میشه terrified بیام دوتا مثال بزنیم This movie is terrifying این فیلم وحشت آوره خیلی ترسناکه I'm terrified of this movie یعنی اینکه این فیلم من رو میترسونه من رو وحشت زده میکنه Now let's go to the practices Here we want to use these words as present participle ing and past participle ed So the word amaze will be amazing as present participle or amazed as past participle amaze یعنی شگفت زده کردن متحیر کردن شماره اول میگه جان چو is such an حالا تو تا حالت داریم amazing و یا amazed amazing جان چو is such an amazing actor یعنی جان چو بازیگر شگفتانگیزیه داریم حسی که اون نفر یعنی جانچو به ما میده رو اینجا توصیف میکنیم و حالا حسی که ما نسبت به اون شخص و یا چیز داریم حالت 
پس پارتیسیپل میشه I'm always amazed by his incredible talent یعنی اینکه من همیشه از استعداد او شگفت زده میشم یعنی اینکه این حس منه Now you have to pause the video take a couple of minutes to do number two all the way to number six All right, let's do it. The word here we have bore. Bore yani kesel kardan, faste kardan. Most TV shows are really kheli az barnamay televizyoni chiyan? Boring. Faste konandan. Hesiye ke un TV show va ya barnamay televizyoni be ma midan. I often get so bored watching them that I fall asleep. Ma'amulan vaqti ke negashu mikonam khwabam mibare be khater in ke کسل کنندن I often get so bored Number three So the word here we have interest Interest means علاقه I was ببین اینجا میگه I was من I was interested in watching The Martian after I read the book یعنی این که خیلی علاقه داشتم که فیلم مارشن رو بعد از که کتابش خوندم رو ببینم I was interested And I was surprised that the movie is really و خیلی سپرایز شدم به خاطر اینکه فیلم خیلی چیه؟ Interesting جالبه شاید براتون سوال پیش میاد که چرا اول که گفته I was interesting نشد ببینید فرق این که بگم I am interesting و I am interested چیه؟ هر دوش جملات درستی هست I am interesting داری از خواهی تعریف میکنی یعنی میگی که من خیلی جالبم جمله دوم I am interested یعنی که من خیلی علاقه مندم دوباره تکرار میکنم ING دارها رو interesting, fascinating, boring, thrilling هر چیزی از این صفات که ING داره ما از اونا استفاده میکنیم تا یه چیزی رو وصف کنیم اون حسی که از اون چیز و یا کس میگیریم رو توصیف کنیم به فرض میخوای بگید که من رئیسم خیلی جالبه با حاله My boss is interesting معلمم کسل کننده است My teacher is boring این کتاب خارقلاده است This book is fascinating پس ما داریم اون کتاب معلم و رئیس رو توصیف میکنیم. ولی وقتی همین اجکتیوا رو به صورت ایدی استفاده کنید حس خودمون و یا حس یک نفر رو نسبت به یک چیز دیگه داریم میگیم. به فرض اینترستد رو میتونیم برای هر کسی به کار ببریم. I am interested. My father is interested. My brother is not interested. حس یک نفر نسبت به یک چیزی. پس شماره سه وقتی میگه I was interested in watching the Martian یعنی اینکه علاقه داشتم که فیلم مارشن رو ببینم اینجا interesting بنویسید هیچ معنایی نداره Number four The word is excite Excite یعنی هیجان زده کردن و یا هیجان آوردن I'm excited to watch the Avengers یعنی خیلی هیجان دارم که فیلم Avengers رو ببینم Everybody has told me it's really exciting. همه به هم گفتن که اون فیلم هیجان انگیزه. Number five. I find animated films very... یعنی به نظر من فیلم های animated یا animation چیان از فیل amuse و fascinate مخواهم استفاده کنیم. Amuse یعنی سرگرم کردن و fascinate رو میتونیم مجذوب کردن معنا کنیم به نظر من فیلم های انیمیشن چی هن؟ Amusing I've been fascinated by them since I was a little kid از وقتی که بچه بودم مجذوب اونا بودم And the last one we have Surprise, terrify Surprise کردن وحشت دارن و یا وحشت زده کردن It's surprising that horror movies are so popular I can't understand why people go to the movies to feel terrified. خیلی شوکه کننده و یا سورپرایز کننده است که فیلم‌های ترسناک 
محبوبم اصلا متوجه نمیشم مردم چرا به سینما میرن تا حس ترس رو تجربه کنن to feel terrified And more importantly, in part B, we have a couple of verbs, amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrass, and shock. Amaze any shikifts at a kardan. Annoy, azadadan. Confuse, geech kardan. Disgust, hal beham zadan. Embarrass, sharmande kardan. Vaya khijalat zade kardan. Shock, shokke kardan. همه این فعلا که این جمله رو میتونیم به حالت present participle ing و past participle استفاده کنیم. Present participle شون میشه amazing, annoying, confusing, disgusting, embarrassing, shocking. معناش amazing یعنی شگفت آور. Annoying آزاردهنده. Confusing گیج کننده. Disgusting حال به هم زن. Embarrassing خجالت آور شاکنگ شکاور شکه کننده پس حسایی که یک چیز به ما میده و همون حس رو ما بخوایم نسبت به یه چیزی ابراز کنیم که حس ما هستش حالت ایدی میگیره I am amazed I am annoyed I am confused Here we have a text You have to read the text and use these words in the blanks I had a terrible time at the movies last weekend. First, my ticket cost $25. I was really shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier two $5 bills instead of a 20 and 5. I was a little embarrassed. Then, there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. The people behind me were talking during the movie, which was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers so confusing. I like the special effects though. They were amazing. Part 4 Word Power How do you like it? In this box, we have a number of adjectives. We want to categorize them based on these meanings. Awful means very bad. Wonderful means very good. Stupid, strange, funny. Manoshon awful خیلی bad, wonderful خیلی خوب. Stupid, احمقانه و یا احمق. Strange, عجیب, funny, بامزه. میخوایم این اجکتیب ها رو توی کاتگوری خودشون بذاریم. به فرض کلمه amusing یعنی سرگرم کننده. میره تو کاتگوری آخر فانی چیزایی که جالب هستن با مزه هستن و یا سرگرم کننده هستن میشه amusing bizarre goes to strange bizarre عجیب عجیب غریب disgusting awful چندش آور خیلی بد dumb stupid احمقانه fantastic wonderful خارغلاده Hilarious, funny. Hilarious, خیلی خنده دار. Horrible, awful. Hysterical, funny. Hysterical یعنی بسیار خنده دار و یا بسیار و یا بسیار بامزه. Incredible, wonderful. Odd, strange. Outstanding, wonderful. Ridiculous, stupid. چیزی که خنده داره ولی احمقانه است. Ridiculous. Silly, stupid. Terrible, awful. Weird, strange. And now let's pronounce the words again. Amusing. Bizarre. Disgusting. Dumb. Fantastic. Hilarious, horrible, hysterical, incredible, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, weird. It's 
In part 5 listening, you have to listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Match each conversation to the statement that best describes the people's opinions. So very simply, you have four sentences and you have to listen to these four listenings and match them which one is number one, A, B, C, or D. A. This special offers an amazing look into an exotic country. The new investigation into these creatures was a waste of time. The bad acting with this boring idea makes it terrible. She's excited to read more of this clever mystery series. In part 6 pronunciation, we have emphatic stress. Take a look at this sentence. That was terrible. That was terrible. You see the stress is on the first part of this adjective. Terrible. Terrible. That's not a avvalish stress migire. He was amazing. He was amazing. He was amazing. The middle part is stressed. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Fascinating. قبلن هم چندین بار تکرار کردم pronunciation رو فقط و فقط با listening تقبیت کنید. Again, terrible. Amazing. Fascinating. Take a look at these words here. How do you think they're pronounced? The first one is fantastic. Fantastic. Horrible. Horrible. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Weird. Weird. I give it two thumbs up. We have a couple of genres of movies on the right. Action. Comedy. Animation, fantasy, biography, sci-fi or science fiction, thriller, horror, drama, war, and documentary. So you know the meaning of action and comedy, 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 animation, fantasy, film, and biography, biography, sci-fi, ya science fiction, by ya hamun, elmi, tachayoli, thriller, genai, horror, tarsnak, Drama, Deram, War, Jang, Documentary, Mustanat. And now there are a couple of questions here that somebody can ask you. What kind of movies are you interested in? Why? What kinds of movies do you find boring? Who are your favorite actors and actresses? بازیگرای زن و مرد مورد علاقت کیان؟ Why? Are there actors or actresses you don't like? آیا بازیگرای زن و یا مردی وجود دارن که دوست نداشته باشیشون؟ What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Are there any outstanding movies playing now? Playing now اینجا اشاره داره به فیلمی که الان توی سینما داره اکران میشه. فیلم خیلی خارق العاده ای هستش که تو سینما در حال اکران باشه. Do you prefer to watch films dubbed or with subtitles? ترجیح میدی که فیلم ها رو دوبله شده نگاه کنی و یا با زیرنویس. Why? Feel free to answer these questions down in the comments. Part 8. Perspectives and the Oscar goes to you have to listen to people talk about some of their Hollywood favorites. Can you guess the actress, actor, or movie each person is describing? So we have four descriptions. People are talking about an actress or an actor or a movie. Can you guess what they are talking about? Number one says, He is a famous American actor who is also a successful director and producer. He won the Oscar for Best Motion Picture in 2013 with Argo, which he directed and co-produced. 
Can you guess who the actor is? Number 2. The first movie in the series came out in 1977. It's a science fiction fantasy that has become a blockbuster franchise. Blockbuster به فیلم و یا سری از فیلم ها میگن که خیلی موفق و پرفروش بودن. The story takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Can you guess which movie this is? Number 3. I really like animated movies. And the third one in the series is my favorite. It's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventures when they're alone. Can you guess which animated movie this is? And the last one, she's an actress that is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I loved her in Mamma Mia and The Devil Wears Prada. In 2011, she won her third Oscar for her performance in The Iron Lady. If you couldn't guess, the first actor is Ben Affleck. The movie for number two is Star Wars. The animated series in number three is Toy Story. And the actress in number four is Meryl Streep. Part 9 Grammar Focus Relative Pronouns for People and Things خیلی راحت اینجا از کلمات who, which و that استفاده می کنیم. اینها توی جملات به معنای که هستن. به این جمله دقت کنید. He is an actor. یه جمله He is also a director and producer. دو تا جمله. He is an actor. یه بازیگره. He is also a director and producer. او همچنین یک کارگردان و تیه کننده است. اینا دو تا جمله مختلفن. جمله بعدی این دو تا جمله رو ادغام کرده. He is an actor who و یا that is also a director and producer. این who و that به معنای که هستن. به جای اینکه دو تا جمله مجزا بگیم میگیم او یک بازیگر که همچنین یک کارگردان و تهیه کننده است. Who برای انسان استفاده میشه. Which برای غیر انسان و یا چیزها. It's a science fiction fantasy. یک فیلم فانتزی علمی تخیلیه. It has become a blockbuster franchise. اون فیلم تبدیل شده به یک فیلم پرفروش. این دو تا جمله رو ادغام کنیم. It's a science fiction fantasy which و یا that has become a blockbuster franchise. یک فیلم علمی تخیلی که به یک فیلم پرفروش تبدیل شده. برای چیزها از which و برای انسان از who استفاده می کنی. That مشترکه می تونه برای انسان و یا برای چیزها استفاده بشه. اگر دقت کنی دو تا جمله که داریم It's a science fiction fantasy کلمه it به اون فیلم اشاره می کنه. توی جمله بعدی هم دوباره it رو داریم. و یا حتی جمله قبلی He is an actor. He is also a director. دو تا هی داریم. اگر بخوایم این دو تا جمله رو با هم دیگه ادغام کنیم با استفاده از who that و یا which باید حتما ضمیر جمله دوم رو حذف کنیم شماره یک اینجا گفته Jennifer Hudson is a singer she is acted in several films Jennifer Hudson یک خواننده است او توی چندین فیلم هم نقش آفریده ما شی جمله دوم رو حذف میکنیم پس زمیر و یا زمیر جایگزین رو توی جمله دوم باید حذف کنیم اینجا چی میاریم؟ who و یا that به خاطر اینکه در مورد یک انسان صحبت میکنیم Jennifer Hudson is a singer who has acted in several films Jennifer Hudson خاننده که توی چندین فیلم هم بازی کرده 
تنها کاری که باید بکنید اینه که زمیر جمله دوم رو مثل it, they, he, she, it, she, it حذف کنید و به جاش who, which و یا that استفاده کنید. Now pause the video, do number two to number three. Number two, the Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel which was published in 1911. Number three, Spider-Man and Transformers are successful franchises which were adapted from comic books. Number four, Michael Keaton is a famous Hollywood actor who began his career as a cameraman. Number five, Dakota Fanning is an actress who made her first movie when she was only seven years old. Number six, We Fit is a video game which helps people to get more exercise. Number seven, Stephanie Mayer is an American writer who wrote the Twilight series. And the last one, many Hollywood stars live in Beverly Hills, which is a small city near Los Angeles, California. In the wish be chia shardare the Beverly Hills. خیلی از ستارهای هالیوود در Beverly Hills زندگی می کنند که یک شهر کوچیک نزدیک لس آنجلس کالیفرنیا است. In part 11, you can talk about a TV studio that is looking for ideas for a new TV show. You can brainstorm or think about possible ideas and agree on an idea. For example, you're giving an idea for a TV show. What kind of TV show is it? Is it a TV show about dinosaurs or about future robots? What is it about? Who are the main characters? And who is this show for? Is it for children or adults? If you have a partner, you can talk about the ideas here. And in the listening part, you have to listen to two critics. Critic means montaret. In John Montaret, film. Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. اون ویژگی های فیلم رو که در مورد صحبت میکنن رو اینجا باید تیک بزنید. So, these are the features. Acting, بازیگری, story, داستان, writing, نویسندگی, music, love story, داستان رومانتیک و یا عاشقانه, special effects, جلوه های ویژه. So, which of these features do they talk about? And what is Nicole's opinion about them? Or what is Anthony's opinion about them? In part 13, you can write a movie review. نقد و یا بررسی یک فیلم رو بنویسید. These are some of the questions that you can answer in your review. What was the movie about? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? How was the acting? How would you rate it? چه نمره ای بهش میدی؟ As an example, we have a movie review right here. Is it about Birdman? We recently streamed Birdman, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2015. It's about an actor who made successful movies in Hollywood in the past, and now tries to reinvent his career on Broadway. Reinvent یعنی دوباره زنده کردن. Broadway به تاعتر میگن. It stars Michael Keaton and Emma Stone as a father and daughter. We like the movie because it is both a drama and a comedy. I didn't like and the rest. So pick a movie, write a review and then paste the review in the comments. Part 14. Reading. The Real Art of Acting. 
acting can bring fame, money, and success. Fame, shohrat. But it's not always easy. Good acting is not only about learning lines and dressing up. It's also about convincing the audience that you really are somebody else. Convince, mutagaid kardan. Audience are the people who watch a movie or a play. To achieve this, yani baraye be dast avordanesh ya baraye residan bein, good actors sometimes put themselves through unpleasant experiences. Bazigaray khayli khub, bazi vaghta khodeshun ro tuye tajrubiyat khayli bad qarar midan. Actors often have to lose or gain a lot of weight in order to play a part. In The Machinist, 2005, Christian Bale plays an extremely thin factory worker who suffers from insomnia. Insomnia, bichabi. Four months before he began filming, Bale started a crazy diet. He only ate an apple and a can of tuna a day and lost 63 pounds. Although he wanted to lose another 20 pounds, the producers persuaded him to stop because they were worried about his health. Because he was worried about his health. Because he was worried about his health. He was worried about his health. He was worried about his health. He was worried when filming ended, he had just six months to gain the incredible hundred pounds he needed to play Bruce Wayne in Batman Begins. Physical training can also be a challenge. Steven Spielberg wanted to show the real horror of war in Saving Private Ryan, 1998, and he wanted his actors to feel like real soldiers. So he sent a group of them, including Tom Hanks, to a 10-day military boot camp. They ran miles every day, slept outside in the freezing cold, and were given little food. In the end, all of them were physically and mentally exhausted. Portman also had to make a great physical effort when she got the role of a ballerina in Black Swan 2010. Before filming, she spent a whole year training for eight hours a day, six days a week, in order to learn to dance. Once filming began, things didn't get easier either. Portman dislocated a rib while dancing. Dislocate یعنی در رفتن یکی از استخونای دندش موقع رخصیدن در رفت Nevertheless, she bravely continued filming during the six weeks it took her to recover برحال توی اون شیش هفته ای که در حال ریکاور شدن بود به فیلم بازی کردن ادامه داد Sometimes becoming a character can mean saying goodbye to the real world and everybody in it completely. Actor Heath Ledger locked himself in a hotel room for six weeks when he was preparing to play the role of the Joker in The Dark Knight 2008. He slept only two hours a day and he spent the rest of the time practicing how to walk, talk and move like his character. It seems he was successful in the end, as audiences and critics loved his work, and he won an Oscar for the part. And that is the end of Unit 13. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good luck.